this episode busted. We're going to talk about home improvement myths. Well, folks, there's a bunch of myths out there in the home improvement world. We thought we would discuss 12 of these particular myths and tell you why they are not the truth. Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show, home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. Thanks for listening to another edition of the Handyman Pros Radio Show, where our goal is to help save you time, money, and aggravation on your home maintenance and repair. This edition is entitled Busted. Let's talk about home improvement myths. <clears throat> and here to help me explain is my ever cheerful co-host and old myth buster himself. <laughs> myth buster, huh? Buster <laughs> John. Johnny, what myths are we busting this week? Anything happening in your world that might uh, lend itself to a little myth busting? Uh, no, I don't think there's going to be too much. I was, uh, I got to detail a car out the end of this week. <laughs> How's that for a myth? <laughs> Jeez. That's a, uh, thank God it's you and not me. Ugh. I hate that stuff. Yeah, I've got to do some, I got to do some little, little repairs on the paint and it's a little, little bit of wet sanding and polishing and. Wow, it's get a, a whole few, deal. Get a few things back in. <laughs> yeah, there's some good stuff out there, you know, that I've been using. It's uh, for polish, like my M105 and an M205 polishes and stuff. It works works well. Anyways. Anyway. Yeah. Plan All our, right. Before we get plan, started, we would like to ask Larry. you to, to like and subscribe <laughs> to our channels, both on the YouTube and on the Handyman Pros or wherever you get this podcast, if you would. Give us a review, too. It helps get the word. We're trying to spread the word. We hope we're helping you save time, money, and aggravation. It's really what we're hoping to do. All right, Johnny. Myths. What we're going to – here's what we'll do. I'm going to read the myth, or, we'll, or one of us will read the myth, and then we're going to do some a little bit of conversation, you know, as it is the two guys sitting around in a gin joint talking about about home improvement, but we're going to talk about <laughs> myths gin here. Joint. I love it. Of, <laughs> my parents of all the gin, gin joints gin and yeah, all the places it. in all the world. She has to the walk in a mine. That's right. All right. So the first one is go big on renovations, right, Johnny? I'm not sure. What do you think? <clears throat> Okay. Um, well, I think let's separate renovations from remodeling. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that would that would kind of set the stage. So you know, <laughs> renovations is a is a is a is major. Ren remodeling might be you know redoing your kitchen, uh, busting out you know that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, uh, maybe be not. There. Ma maybe not. Ma it sort of not uh, not 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 particularly changing changing uh, some some plumbing stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your point is, um, let me put in a um, $30,000 kitchen. Um, is it worth it? Is it worth it? What, what, what are you trying to accomplish at this point? Are you trying to do that to sell the house or is it for you? Correct. And I think and it, that's the big distinction that I always make on anything that I do uh, here. If I was going to sell this place, um, is one thing. Doesn't if, make sense. Yeah. Yeah. If I, but for me, uh, you know, if it's mine, that then I do something different. Yeah, it, it really is one of those things. Again, we so to, to I always say do a market analysis, right? And and this isn't rule everything because to John's point, if you're doing something for yourself, that's one thing. And if you plan on having some longevity in the system in the home, that's one thing. But if you're if you're if your plans are short term plans, let's just say you're going to move it out of the house in five years. I'm just using that as a rough number. To put thirty thousand dollars in over a five year for a five year period, which would be six thousand thirty thousand divided by five is six thousand dollars a year and are you going to see that money come back out can't answer that it's house by house it depends on where you bought the house are you at the bottom of the market or the top of the market and so forth and so on lots of reasons where it can be but just because you're going to come in and do renovations doesn't necessarily mean renovations and or remodel john doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see a return on your investment because you're doing those renovations um 
it just really depends on the situation. It really there, there's, does. There's, there's really, there's, a, there's an added component to this as well as that if you're doing it yourself or you're having somebody do it. Correct. So if you're doing it yourself, that's one thing um, where you're going to recoup a lot of money. It's, you're probably going to recoup, you know, probably 80 cents on a dollar for that. Correct. You know, but if you're going to have somebody else do it just to sell the house or to do something, um, there is a, I think, Larry, that uh, we did, uh, we did a, uh, an episode or show on this one time. Um, there are places out there if you look online and they come out every year, the remodeling uh, sites will tell you how much you can expect on payback for the average, for, for whatever it might be. For what the market's bearing at that particular time. Yep. Right. For a bathroom, kitchen, right. shower, you know, whatever it might be. Right. Um, surprisingly, you know, the biggest return on investment was new garage doors the last time we did this. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, he, here's what, if I remember correctly, um, if uh, if I get talked into, you know, hey, man, to, to resell this house, you really need to bring it up to date. Um, okay, well, how much is that going to, you know, I, I need to redo my kitchen, right? Yeah, that's going to cost you 25. Well, I think I think if you put 25 in, I think you get 18 back. Right. So if you do right. the math exactly. on if you That's do the, the math on that, if you do the math on that, you know, so you're losing thousands of dollars right there. Where perhaps, um, in my estimation, no matter what I do to my house before I sell it, you're not going to like it. Okay, I'm going to put the wrong <laughs> floor in. I'm going to put the wrong carpet in. You're not going to like the countertops that I put in, so on and so forth. So how about if I come to uh, you know something where I negotiate with you? <clears throat> You know, hey, I'm not going to do anything. You can do it. Correct. And by the way, you're not going to move in for a while, so it's a great time to do it. Um, right, right. You know, so on and so forth. Uh, right. You know, and then recoup that money instead of, you know, trying to lose $10,000 on everything you do. I mean, it's just not, sometimes it's just not worth just, it. Now, if yeah, it's for me and, and I live and with and it, it doesn't matter. And that doesn't include your time, your aggravation and your time. Right. Oh, so, absolutely. All of that stuff. So anyway. All right. Next one. Cracks in walls will cost you thousands. Your house is going to fall in on itself. Okay. Got cracks in the walls. This is, this is one. That's the myth, by the way. Yeah. This is, this is one that uh, is, is uh, generally an easy scare tactic for homeowners. Correct. Because a lot of times the house will settle, uh, but not to the point where, you know, it's going to continue to settle like it's going into a sinkhole. <laughs> Correct. You know, so, I mean, let's just be, let's just be brutally honest about it. A lot of times it's natural for a house for, uh, you know, expansion contraction to have cracks in yep. the walls, especially, um, doors. you know, in, 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 or, well, if you, uh, <clears throat> if you have a, one thing folks, uh, now I don't have a kitchen that's on a, on an outside, an exterior wall, but one of the things that you notice about when you, when you see kitchens that are on an exterior wall, that the, the studs uh, in that wall have different expansion contraction, uh, in, in and of itself of the, the, the heat on the inside or, the, or vice versa, you know, with the cold right. on the outside. So, and they, they expand and twist. <laughs> And, yep. and you are forever fighting a sink on that wall because it's always seems to be cracking away from the wall. <laughs> yep. yep. So if you grout that, um, it's going to crack again. So anyways, en enough said about that, but it, it's not necessarily always true that, that, that that's the, you know, the end of the house that's coming it, to an end. It requires a lot more investigation. Exactly. Gen generally, if you have a, a true foundation crack, and even a foundation crack isn't necessarily the death knell of the house, but if you have a really bad foundation crack, if you're if you have a multi-story house, you'll have cracks up into the second floor. That's an indication of when you've got problems. Yeah. Because it'll do it on both floors, which means the whole thing shifted. But individual little cracks can be any number of a whole bunch of things that just you know what, get a structural engineer to get in and give you an opinion or get somebody that just even knows what they're really looking at. They'll tell you what, if it is or it isn't right. Yeah, yeah. Because it just, it, it just, it's just, but it's, it's a myth. It's just a myth that cracks will, you know, it's, Oh my gosh. You're gonna, you know, Here's no, it, yeah. It, so, but, the, it, but you know, to the point that you, that you made earlier um, was that um, in an earlier show was that, you know, these are scare tactics 
Scared um, and there's and there's people out there that are in business to do this, the foundation repairs and stuff like yep. that. Uh, hey, I'm sure not enough. disparaging you guys that do nope. that stuff. They're, well, not there's at enough all. To, they, they, they're out there for a reason because but there are people that it, do exactly. Need but the repair. but it's right? easy for the homeowner. Uh, see, the the homeowner can see the crack. Correct. And now you're in this mindset of you know, oh my God, my house is going to split in two. Right. Um, a lot of times, you know, don't don't panic. Um, you know, it might just be as simple as, you know, in my case, they forgot to put tape between two pieces of wallboard. <laughs> right. Well, there, and, and, there you go. Right. There's a good um, example. And, and these windows, you know, round windows are forever cracking off the corners. Yep. yep. So, there, you know, there's all kinds of stuff like that where it's like, oh, my, oh, my Lord, the, the house is, you know, keeps settling, settling. My house settled That's, one time. Okay. It settled yeah. one time and it cracked a bunch of stuff, cracked some brick. Yep. Um, yep. that was 25 years ago and it hasn't moved since Nope. All right. We're hey. moving on Johnny. Cause we got a lot to go yep. through. Go through. All right. Go. Here's the myth. Get it. Do it yourself. will save you money. Uh, Oh, I can tell you from really personal experience. That's just not true. So I, I, John, we've, you know, I'm in the midst, I'm yeah. in the midst of building this, uh, this shed that I put on a concrete yeah. floor. Right. And I will tell you that I had the guy pour the concrete and I will tell you that my concrete contractor brought economies of scale because I this is true. could not buy the concrete for what he bought the concrete for. And he paid for his labor almost. I paid a, I paid it out of not having to go to the doctor for my back to move all the concrete. But he did it for a, an amount that was so close to what I could have done it for myself that it wasn't worth me doing it because I would have had to. And that didn't include the cost of the rental equipment that I would have needed to do the job and the tools that I did not have to do the job. So this is a very personal one for me right now because I just had this done and I can tell you it's not always a way to yes, save and there's, money. Yes, and I'll give you a couple. Of, I'll give you another example. Is uh, okay, folks. If you're going to do, you can do a lot of DIY stuff yourself. You can mm -hmm. save a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But sure then, there, then there comes a point that you want to hire in a licensed electrician. Yes. Okay. Well, there's certain things you do, and certain okay. things. Okay. Right. So there's so know your limitations. I think that's what we always talk about here on the show. Is you know, if, it's great to know your limitations. Right. But you know, if you're going to put in, you know. A, you're going to do some remodeling. You you can do the wallboard. You can do everything else. But you know what? Hey, man, that electrical stuff, I'm going to have a, you know, do it. Get that guy, girl out there to do that stuff for you, man. And you're going to be happy. It's And Larry's right. It's the economies of scale. They already got all the tools. They, they already the know tools. what they're doing. They know you, what they're they're doing. in and out. And, and you're happy. And you keep, you continue to move on with your project. Yeah. I mean, in it, but there are times when it literally is less expensive to use a, yes. to use a contractor. It's yep. not, not figuratively. It is less expensive. Yes. To use. And this concrete gig, I was shocked. I was oh, like, oh, oh, yeah. I was I mean, like, oh, heck yes. I'm going to use, have them do it. Just, just from the move. standpoint, all you got to do is screw up your back one time and you're going to say, yeah, that wasn't worth it. It didn't cover my insurance premium in a month, the difference. So trust me, that's yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, it was like, a no-brainer at that point. And, and, like, and, wow, then there's, okay. and then there's, um, you know, times that, you know, you have to buy a whole bunch of certain tools. <clears> yeah, that you'll never <clears> use. And you're again. never going to use again. Call the right. call them in. You're done. You're, it's just yep. as cheap. And um, in the way you, 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 you go. All right. Next myth. We've talked about this one on multiple occasions, but we're going to talk about it again. Remodeling is easy and fast. Um, no. No. <laughs> We no, <clears throat> and, and I'll tell you what slows it down is the aggravation and the stress. Will, and we've talked about this numerous times. You can go back in the yeah. shows and stuff. Yeah. I think don't, the, don't I, believe reality. TV I think stress. It's not that. It's yeah, fantasy, I, right? <laughs> I think I think, you know, personally, I think stress and unknown adds, you know, really slows down time. Yep. You think that I, I don't you disagree. think that you think that a couple of minutes is is short it goes by real long man when you're worried about you know or you're in the in the midst of you know this contractor thing and the, this and i'm trying to do this and that and we've talked about it we've so, done we've done whole shows on this just topic. be i think it's yeah. expectation setting it goes you know right. it goes back to that um if you're if you set those right then um 
you know you're what better. you're in for. You're better. It's still not. It still can be very I, I stressful. Think the, yeah, and I think uh, do you know if if you have contractors do your remodeling, I think the good ones are going to tell you exactly how it's going down, and they should. I'm not going to rehash all that, right? Which, which will take the stress away from you. But right. Anyways. Anyway, yeah. So that's so that one's that one. We've talked a little bit about the next one. Swimming pools add value. Um, not to me, they don't. <laughs> it's a myth. <laughs> ding, 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 right? That's the whole thing. It's a myth, right? It's just yeah. a myth. They don't. Because to, to I've had a swimming pool. I don't want another swimming pool. I had pool. one. I lived yep. in a house that had one. Yep. And here, here's the reality of it. Number one, they add a tremendous amount of, of inc- extra maintenance was always the thing that <laughs> yep. got me. You so. have to take care of it. And you have to take care of it every freaking day. And it's just. It it's was just, a pain in, in the, the yes backside. i'll tell you yeah i had no one kidding. in and fl- we had one in florida and it was oh boy uh, and, and, and you and, and, and you talk about every day every oh, day every day and and they just you know I, I always say and the other thing for me in my case because i do the numbers all the time right as you if you haven't figured that out i do the numbers all the time i set that pool up and this was when my kids were young you know and all oh, the kids are going to use it they're going to use it a ton uh 12 times in the summer that was it. I was like, I'm doing all this work every day so they can go swim 12 times. I can take them down to the local pool or the lake 12 times a day or 12 times. Now, they were competitively swimming, and so they were swimming every day. But they wouldn't come back and swim at the house. They had no interest in doing that, none. And I was like, why did I do this? And that was it. I was done. No more pools. Because it is. it was every day, every single day, I was skimming, cleaning, blah, blah, blah. It's a the, pain, man. It's so a pain. if you've never had one, folks... Um, <laughs> Think putting putting one in is is just the start. It's just the start. And I think it's it like kind of like owning a boat. <laughs> yeah. It's about the same. You could yeah. You know, unless it. unless it's like you, Larry, where you're living on the lake. But they, they, they should do it like that. They should call it. A, they shouldn't call it a pool. They should call it a boat. Bring on another thousand. <laughs> right. Bring on I, another thousand. And I will tell you, I, I had, you know, I've had uh, a cousin who had a pool. Um, and you know, they had a, the, the famous crack in the pool. They oh, could yeah. never oh, fix. I mean, yeah, it just course. goes on and on. Uh, nah, 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 so nah. anyways, and they don't necessarily, not everybody wants a pool, so it doesn't enhance resale value. I don't care what any it's in the eye of the, budget, it's in the it's eye in of the, the buyer. Of the so, right. You limit your market when you put a pool in, you limit and it's it. For, it's for you. It's well, if it's for you, that's a different, that, you know what, if you put it in, it's for you, it, but it's, I don't, yeah. I, I, I probably get a lot of pushback from some, some of you folks out there selling real estate about this. I just don't, don't I don't see it. I just don't see it but anyways. All right. Next add a bedroom before a bathroom. Add a bedroom before a bathroom. Yep. That's the myth. And it is a myth. Because it really just depends on the situation. But what sells homes? Well, bathrooms and kitchens are what sell homes. That's what real yeah. estate people will tell you. Yeah. But if you have a, like, just for, I'm going to use this one because this is, this is, this, there are still houses out there that are three ones, right, Johnny? Yeah. You got a three one, don't add another bedroom, put another bathroom in. No, You'll do your, that's it. Do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor. Yeah. Put another bathroom yeah. in, right? Yep. You know? If you have a house, if you have yeah, a home if home. you're if you're if if this is the case of you know doing a home improvement and the and the home improvement is for, you know, a future sale, um, you know, or, or you're looking at it that way, absolutely. Yeah, and and even if you're thinking about redoing your basement, like let's say you want to put a a, a bedroom down in the basement, yeah. which is not uncommon, right? It really, if you're going to put a bedroom in, you need to put a bathroom in too. Here's here's the other thing. Look at the codes. Yeah, is there egress? I mean, it's, you know, out yeah, of a, yeah, blah, so blah. you got the whole, that whole thing. Anyways. Yeah. You got that. Whole, so that's a whole different thing, but baths and kitchens sell homes. That really is really, really true. So you need a nice kitchen. You need a nice bathroom. All right. A house needs to breathe. Um, by that, you mean, Oh, I, I know what, a little airflow through the walls or, you know, yeah. a little around the windows is good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, not true. Modern, <laughs> modern homes, modern homes, and I will say modern homes, different with older homes, but modern homes can be tight. They can be really, no, they're really very, tight. They're very, yeah, they're very sealed up if you don't, if you don't, if you haven't discovered that, folks, when you live in a new home versus an old home. Correct. 
And um, when the when the candles start to flicker, then you know you got it really tight. When the when the canary starts to kind of keel I'll you, over, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. There was a there was a yeah there was a there was a neighborhood there was a neighborhood where I where I grew up you know um, and they had just I'm not going to tell you who the builder was I'll tell you offline, but um, they built really really cheap homes and when the wind was blowing real hard the pictures on the inside of the the walls would be shaken. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little too loose. Um, now your home, your home does need to have ventilation. Yes, uh, it needs to dry out. You need to get the water and the moisture out of it. Um, and your, um, you know, we've talked about this already. Your attic actually needs to breathe, but that's not your home. So that is a myth. It's a, it's just a, in in modern terms that's a myth in the old days it was a little different and they were working with different things and people didn't care of a you know that the home was more than 40 degrees well uh, yeah they, they, i mean back 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 in the day you weren't too concerned about uh you know heating your home because you put a big pot belly stove or whatever in the middle middle of the the the, the room and blast the heat like crazy and just move back and forth to where you're comfortable to where <laughs> you know for further or nearer to the damn thing and, and it'd be so hot in there that it would overcome everything and there was a reason that you needed the house to be loose then because you needed to get the combustible gases right. and the carbon monoxide the hell out of your house so right. that was yeah you could probably you could probably run a a, a barbecue inside that <laughs> <laughs> well you were you had a pot belly stove in there i mean but but in all seriousness that's that's a myth that comes from very from a long time ago when we did fire things with wood and we do not do that anymore we fire things with things that combust completely today and they don't have you know bad bad stuff that goes on um so anyway that's the myth johnny the next myth water heater tanks are maintenance free yeah um n not really um I, I will tell you keep keep we've talked about this in the past about water heaters um, you know, they should be, they should be drained out every, every once in a every while. Year. Now, a lot of times, you know, if you got really good water and stuff, you, you're, you're probably pretty good, but you know, they, they have things in there like anode rods and, they have an anode um, rod you know, that you should that's yeah. address at some point. Uh, there's, there's, you know, you, you need to educate yourself, at least read up enough to, to, to have an understanding of how, how water heaters work. Yeah. How they um, work. And I will say that it's really nice. Don't don't just put it in the closet and never open up the closet again or, or anything. You need well, to, that's the point, right? Isn't yeah, see, point? you need yeah. to look at that thing because if, you know, thank God I, I just stumbled onto mine. I mean, it's, it's open in the basement and the, the other side of the basement, but I just looked and all of a sudden I see it's dripping water. I'm like, uh-oh. Yep. Uh-oh. <laughs> all all I need. Swap that bad boy out. All yeah. I need. That's all I need is that thing to burst, bust loose, man. You know, which, well, by the way, is how they break. They don't just. You that's know, they what really, I'm. That's what I'm talking they break, about. They break, and then you got forty gallons plus whatever's coming in the pipe <laughs> out on wherever oh, up, I, of hot upstairs, water yeah, all over the place, penetrating everything, everything. in your basement, yeah. and it gets expensive rapidly, Wick, like all water leaks, wicking up. Know into the two by fours that you put down to build the basement. That's, yeah, that's oh, always course. wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Next myth. I will save money using inexpensive fixtures. We've talked, we've done shows on this, but folks don't spend mid range or up <clears throat> on any of your plumbing fixtures, your light fixtures. You don't have to, don't buy the cheapest thing, particularly plumbing fixtures. They, you, you can't get replacement parts. They're going to leak. They're going to leak anyway, but it's a question of do they leak in two years versus 12? You know, and as we always say, by the time a oh, plumbing you can't fixture get, is 12 years old, you might as well replace it because they're, it's they're, out of They're style basically, anyway. yeah, that, that's you know, it. They're basically don't throwaways. Buy don't buy cheap ones. The yeah. cheap ones are... I went into a house, John, and the, this whole neighborhood was set up this way. They got some deal out of China, and every one of these things, I asked the guy, I go, I have never seen this brand. And he's like, uh, you know, he's like, oh, they put them in this neighborhood. They bought a container of them out of China. And I was like, oh, my God, the whole neighborhood's got these defective POS faucets in it. I was like, what a nightmare. I mean, it was a, they were hard to get off because they were so junky. That's the problem. And I, I'll tell you, I install, uh, so I've got – so I've got some customers that have, you know, $1.5 million homes, 
yep. and they're out buying really cheap stuff. And I'm like, you know, and I don't tell them this, you know, per se, but it's like, you know, you, you, you don't want to, it just doesn't work in this house. This house is way over this thing. Number one, number two, those, the cheap stuff from, um, the big box stores, let's say that the, the well, bottom sure. line of that yeah. stuff is hard to put in. It it's just, it's, in. it, it looks like crap. It it's not, it's right. made it of plastic. That's just, it, it's just don't just don't it's, spend, and, spend the extra 50 bucks, get yeah. a really nice something that's going to last that you can put, replace the parts, you know, oh, absolutely. It's, it's just, it, it's penny wise, pound foolish. Egg, and that's, there you go. At, at the end of the day, that's all we're going to say about it. It's penny wise and pound foolish. All right. Next myth, Johnny, I know this is true. Paint hides everything. Uh, not with it, not without something underneath it. <laughs> That's correct. I, I, I just made one note on here. Nope. That's yeah. why they make a product called Kill <clears throat> or other hiding primers, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. And, and folks, if you're going to, if you're going to do, you know, this is good. We're not talking about repainting here as per se, but it's, you know, if you're going to do paint, um, it's really nice to prime first. It, it, no, it's not nice. You need to you know, prime first. And and I and I'll tell you that there's some Larry ran had some really good stuff from one of the the uh standalone paint places that yep. was really yep. a great it's a really great primer. Yep. Uh if you do any wallboard work, especially prime it before you paint it because it'll Absolutely it'll prime. something happens called flashing and you can yep. paint that thing probably 10 times and it's still gonna still look awful important. in the sunlight right. as the sunlight streams across the wall yep. you'll always see that repair yep. so you know just do it right uh don't cut corners when you when you paint yep all right next myth john you're gonna love this one because you lived in a house like this, and I've had houses like this. You don't need an exhaust fan in your bathroom if you have a window. Um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting concept having a, you know. Now, I will say that, you know, it depends upon what kind of flow is coming across those windows. <laughs> but <laughs> generally... Because there's got to be a there's got to be a flow, otherwise it just deadheads, right? Correct. I mean, nope, you know, having no, it, the, the we, whole concept of the window, you know, perhaps in 1950 when they built those homes, and you, the idea was you were supposed to open the window when you're taking a shower, right? To I get the I air did. Flow out. So yeah, I mean, I I remember we had a, it was a jealousy window of all things <laughs> in Chicago. I couldn't believe it, right? I mean, we probably got the last jealousy window of. That anybody had in 1957. Ex explain what that is. Well, explain it's, it's is. separate separate panes of glass, you know, and it opens out. Yeah. Okay. So Got it's it. you know. Yeah. It's like the it, they're they're very popular in Florida. At in least Florida. they used to be. You know, the right. old old Florida. Yeah. Well, yep. these I just remember opening up those things and all the veins, you know, and I could look out and it and there it is. I'm taking a shower and it's, you know, of course up there it's snowing like crazy out, you know. <laughs> and the and the cold air is coming in in the shower and you're trying to dodge the cold. I mean, <laughs> I, I had some childhood there kind of <laughs> so anyways, He's you know, still getting over it, by the way, folks. Just so you know, he's still he's he's, he is, he's traumatized. It, he was. Traumatized. It's crazy today. But you know, today it's all it's all fan. Yeah, you got to have a fan, and you and I don't have. because you, you because who's going to open the window in the bathroom? I mean, I don't now. Like I say, back in the day when fans used to be expensive and you had to run the ductwork and all that stuff, and it, but today, no, get a fan. Yeah. They're what fifteen bucks or something if you're if you're putting yeah, a new I, you one know, in. I, They're a hundred dollars for the top of the line, or $150 for the top of the line, all the bells and whistles with music and uh, Wi-Fi enabled yeah, and all that I, crap. I, back, you know, I mean, that's it, right? Back back when those, back when they used to put windows in, I, I'm not sure, you know, I can't even remember anybody's house who, who didn't thinking, have, it who was had a fan, who had a fan. It, it was code at one time to have a window in the bathroom. It yeah. was in, back I, in the, probably in the fifties. That, that, that could, before. yeah, I just don't remember anybody ever having a fan. I, mean, I had we had a house we had a house that had a window in the shower. What a mess! Of that's course, what that's why that's what I had. Oh, you had a window in the shower. Yes, that's why yes. I said when I'm taking a shower, I'd open up the window, it, and it, I it and I'm, I'm standing me. right there. So all those so, all the soap bottles were right there, and there's the window. <laughs> yeah, and there's all the, you know, water the shampoo bottles. All the rotten wood is right underneath the. Uh, oh window. yeah, because it was all tiled. 
It was all I mean, tiled, and the cold air is now coming in in the winter. Right. And, and it's like, you, you ever take a shot? It's like th- <laughs> the, sh- the warm water is coming out here. The cold yeah, air is coming anywhere. in here. I might as well take a take a uh, you know hot water and pour it on me standing outside. You know, <laughs> I mean it was nuts. Uh, or all right, anyway, next, yeah, next, yeah. One, next one. All home improvement adds value to your home. Uh, I, I just put a new roof on this house, Johnny. It's got to be worth the twenty grand that, for the roof that I put on there. Yeah, I'm going to go back. Okay, I'm going to go back. That's not true, folks. Yeah. That is not true. Yeah, I'm going to go back to, you know, go get some of these, uh, the, the remodeling uh, institution or whatever they are and, and go get their charts. Well. Because if you're in a, if you're in a situation of, negotiation with somebody that hey i just put a roof on and i and i, I know what you, i know what you're saying larry because I, I just had this conversation with a neighbor of mine um you know they wanted every dime back out of their house that they put in but literally. you're not gonna get it on some it, items you're not gonna get it. you're not right? gonna no you're not gonna get even close to that because the roof is a part of the house that people expect it to work yep and they do not really care if it's new mm. I mean, even I don't know what it, I know enough. About. I'm only, I don't, I'm not, if you, if you think you're going to put a new roof on and recoup your investment, you're not, you're just not, because it's, it's just not the way it works. There's between that roof, roof HVAC, right? I just put a new heating and air conditioning unit. In. I, you know what? I need a house that has heating and air conditioning. It doesn't necessarily mean so, you're going to get dollar yeah, for dollar. And, and here's, and here's the other side of that. And, 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 and the, uh, that argument is that um, the first thing, that you're going to do is is when you're going to buy a house is you know how old is the HVAC system? Well, now you're in a situation of you know some people say ten years too old, fifteen years is too old, and now the negotiation right. starts. Uh, conversely, I just put in a new HVAC unit, okay, and it's ten grand. Um, so yeah, I'm going to add ten grand to the house. No. Uh, yeah, that, no, that doesn't work not that because way. of that. It doesn't work that way. It's, yeah. It should technically yeah. should be amortized. Folks, we've published out a thing on how long each of the items last in your home, and um, and you can take a look at it. And in HVAC's case, it's 15 to 20 years. But really, every, every year you should be putting money aside for those types of units. Those are maintenance items. They're really not. Those are things that you use up. It's not a question of it doesn't add value. It doesn't make your house more valuable. It just is something that has to be be there and depending on its age depends on what the actual value of it is at least that's how i look at it because if i'm going to go negotiate it's got a it's got a 10 year old hvac system i know i've got 10 years worth of life left in it roughly you know five to ten years worth of life left in it so i know i'm going to have a major capital expense within five to, to ten years on average and yes you can go longer and so forth and so on and i understand that but that's not what this is about this is just about that doing these kinds of repairs is not a dollar for dollar ad you're not going to get because you put a new roof on it doesn't mean that it's going to be worth anymore now it might help you sell the house faster but that's the only gain you're going to get out of it in general in general so because yeah. roofs are made to be dry that's just what it is they've got to be dry they're they're expected to work and if your roof is leaky you know you got a different issue because then it needs to be either repaired or replaced so all right johnny we got any other myths um not on this show we don't i have a i have a myth, <laughs> I have a myth and i'm going to ask you this myth and it needs to be busted johnny <laughs> let me ask you this myth is it true that every time you get abducted, that you do get probed. Is that a myth or is that true? I, no, inquiring minds want to know, John. It's a myth. Next, next to the open window in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, with the, <laughs> we have All right, folks. Our, we have to keep this G-rated, Johnny. We can't get too, you know, nope. I had to keep it G-rated. All Let's right. Go. Questions, comments, or concerns, give us an email. Questions at Handyman Pros Radio Show. Johnny, take us home, baby. All right, folks. Have a great week. Stay safe. And we'll see you next time on the Handyman Pros Radio Show.